Hi, I'm Lori Reynolds, and I'm here with Zephyr today to show you how to teach your dog to spin circles. With a small dog, I usually like to start on four. With a bigger dog, um, I will start standing up. The finished behavior is going to be you just giving them a small signal with your hand and having them spin in a circle. Yes, good boy! Because I do agility, I teach the spin away from me. I don't ever want my dog to, on course, come towards me. So you will see a lot of trainers teaching that spin towards them. Good boy. Um, I teach it away from me, so I'm always going to turn the dog's head left with my left hand. Good boy. And turn the dog's head right with my right hand. Yes, yeah, very cool. All right, so first step is to take a cookie in your hand. And you're going to put it just at the level of the dog's nose and encourage him to turn around. When he completes that circle, you're going to mark it and reward. Yes, good boy. So let's talk about some of the problems you can have. One problem is a dog that goes out and then comes back or won't finish the spin. As you can see, I've run out of room here. I cannot turn him anymore. So I want to start closer to my side and make a circle that I can reach through. That's one problem. Um, another problem is some dogs, when you get over their heads, will just back up. So some dogs are afraid to have that arm over their back. He doesn't care. Uh, but they're worried about you being up over the top of them. For dogs that are afraid to have your arm up over your back, you may just have to reward in increments. So you might reward for turning just a little bit, give him that cookie there, and then you reward for turning just a little bit more. Good boy, you did a complete one there. Um, until you're really rewarding going, it's out there, going only part way around the circle, and then rewarding for coming back to you. So you can toss that cookie just part way, good boy, and then reward for coming back to you, and then you can get the full behavior. But most dogs will allow you to just make that circle with your hand, good boy, and follow that circle around. So once we've gotten that with a lure, now we're gonna try it without a lure, good boy. And there's another holdover from my agility. Um, my word for this is, my cue for this is actually back. So I'm going to tell him back. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. You're going to make your signal smaller and smaller. Yes, good boy. And once you have pretty good control over that, or a pretty good uh, success rate, then you're going to try using just the verbal or just the hand signal. Yes, good boy. So we're going to try just the hand signal first. Yes, very good. And this one's pretty tough with just a verbal, but I'll try it. Hey, okay. Oh, good boy. Try again. A little focused on the cookie here. Yes, good boy. So it, he still needs that hand signal for this. So he's got a little ways to go before he can just do it on the verbal. Yes, good boy. So you're going to want to work both sides with this. Um, dogs have a preference, and there's usually one way they prefer to spin over another, but it's a good thing for them to learn to do both ways. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. So to recap, you're going to start with big circles with a lure in your hand. You're going to start very close to your side so you have room to move them all the way around the circle. So that's the first step. Boy. The second step is to make it a little bit smaller circles. Good boy. The next step is to drop that lure and add your verbal cue in. Good boy. Good boy. 
And the very last step is to test the behavior and see if you have it on verbal and hand signal control. This one for him is only on hand signal control. Yes, good boy. Good boy. And there you have your final spin. Okay. Yay, good boy. What a good dog.